Well, uh, Life Technologies now Thermo is still some a little bit of competition in the desktop part of the market, and then there are a lot of startups that are trying to grab some portion of the market. Uh, most of them focusing on single molecule sequencing technologies using CMOS electrical detection. There's a company called Oxford Nanopore that's using nanopore technology to, uh, to biological nanopores uh, to do sequencing. Um, those technologies have big challenges. So they have some advantages in particular applications, um, but the fundamental challenge of single molecule is if you can't achieve the kind of accuracies that we achieve, and particularly in the clinical markets, that's absolutely critical. Um, so we're watching, you know, we don't in any way take our competitors um, lightly, so we're very focused on making sure we understand what they're doing today and what they could do in the future. Um, but we think that most of these single molecule technologies will be niche applications. I remember once we sat down and I asked you what, what's your biggest challenge as CEO, and I think you said something to me to the effect that it was to ensure that your technology was in the forefront and you were, you were steps ahead of, of That's the right. competitors, and that sounds like it continues to be the focus of the day. Yeah, it does, and, and you know, as we look at the market, um, you know, there are others that are going to share portions of this market uh, with us, and, and some of these single molecule technologies have long lead advantages, which you know, for some particular applications are, are useful. Um, but, but we have a roadmap that goes out five years, and we think the kind of chemistry we use called single uh, sequencing by synthesis uh, has a very long life in the marketplace, because we've raised the bar to such an extent on uh, accuracy, on uh, throughput levels, on breadth of applications, on software, on cloud analysis capabilities, let alone, you know, a new company having to launch a product in this market has to ultimately become profitable to be sustainable. So they might launch a product for a while, but they actually have to someday make money or else they're not going to survive. And, and, you know, we make 37% operable profit, so we're over all those thresholds. So it's a very high bar.